The Village Blacksmith. Probably one of the vocations that contributed most to the forward progress of America. His axe heads cut down and hewed the logs for the first homes. His pick heads dug the foundations for her buildings. His wagon wheel rims carried the pioneers west. The iron shoes he pounded out on his anvil kept their horses and oxen from falling lame. Who would ever believe that such a humble trade, working with elements as cold and unyielding as the metals, could give birth to artistic expression like this? What you are looking at is made entirely of metal, using the basic knowledge and skills of the blacksmith. The creator of these magnificent interpretations of nature is Richard J. Prazen, a third-generation village blacksmith. Appropriately enough, he calls his work Reflections from the Forge. Although the romance of the blacksmith is long gone, and his major contributions to America's history greatly overshadowed by modern technology. The fundamental stirrings that first prompted mortal hands to pound metal into useful tools now prompt these hands as they give birth to eye-catching and emotion-moving objects of art. Richard J. Prazen himself is an anomaly. In fact, the Prazen name belongs to not one artist, but three, and they are brothers. The oldest son, Gary F. Prazen, works in the more traditional bronze medium, sculpting in clay and casting via the lost wax process. His work is realistic, storytelling, and usually built around character personalities. It ranges in size from tabletop to monumental. Rick's brother, John F. Prazen, specializes in recreations of Native Americans and stylized furniture of a Native American motif. Richard J. Prazen's artistic forte centers in his great interest and love of birds, particularly eagles and other raptors. You like my, you like my beard, huh? An art piece begins with an idea or a feeling inspired by some object or experience. Even the most non-artistically inclined person could still see in an eagle the perfect symbol for keen awareness, fierce individualism, and independence. These qualities in this bird have greatly endeared it to Richard Prazen. To build the perfect eagle replica is his quest. I really think that the eagle is one of God's most noble creatures. He first sketches a basic pose for his subject. The pencil sketch helps him perceive and visualize how the finished piece might appear from the various angles and perspectives. When finished, the piece will be fully three-dimensional. Brazen has collected an extensive reference library on birds. Photographs and movie footage are studied. Markings and coloration are intimately noted. He spares no effort for accuracy in his depictions. While he pays close attention to anatomical detail, a skeletal form for the body and wings is first constructed of metal rod material. Each piece is carefully bent and form fitted and then welded into place. The rods are closely placed so as to form a base to which the feathers will be welded one by one on top of each other. Prazen refers to this as the mandrel, the framework. Each mandrel is individually formed and constructed so as to bring out the pose and to give life and form to the picture Prazen has in his mind. Each is unique also to the particular species of bird he is making. At the mandrel stage, Prazen also places his unique trademark in each piece, a metal heart suspended inside the body cavity. 
This heart will show up on an x-ray and would be a good safeguard for the collector against any counterfeit piece. Once the mandible is formed, then the legs and feet are built and attached. Next, the head is constructed through a process of building up with a welding torch and grinding down with an air-driven grinder. Prezen then turns his attention to the wing structure, particularly the primary flight feathers. A pattern is drawn freehand and fitted to the mandrel. This pattern becomes his blueprint for each individual primary feather. The most time-consuming task of all is the cutting and texturing of each feather, one at a time, for not only the wings and tail, but the entire bird. Once the several hundred feathers are created, Prezen then begins feathering by fitting each feather in place according to size and texture. Layer upon layer, Beginning at the wingtips, the eagle begins to come alive. Most people don't realize what goes into a completed sculpture. When they see it, it's, it's finished, and it's hard to imagine what steps it took to get it to that point. I probably relate it to building a house. First, you build a framework, and you work on each individual piece until you have a major skeletal structure and then you start layering what I figure is the shingles on the house one piece at a time, uh, each feather covering each weld until you work it up to the head piece and then everything is welded together and ground down to where you have a finished piece that you can't tell where any of the welds were. When I do a sculpture, I put my whole heart into it. I start with uh, probably a good feeling of the, the bird in motion by looking at pictures. And then build the skeletal structure in my mind according to that piece that I want to create. Once Prezen has all of the metal feathers in place on the piece, he then colors each one individually with a very carefully controlled application of heat. Each of the metals has its own unique response to heat. A spectrum of color unfolds as the torch increases the temperature of the metal. Prezen can lock or freeze the color at any point he desires. He literally paints with fire. After the feathers are colored, the piece receives a final protective coating that makes it immune to rust or oxidation. The Richard J. Prezen Eagle is complete. Mounted on a walnut pedestal, it will grace some executive's office or den or similar appropriate setting for many, many years. Prezen enjoys the wide diversity of metals, including the more traditional process of bronze sculpture. Casting allows the bronze piece to be made available as a limited edition of 35. Prezen's repertoire includes many forms of bird life, from life-size eagles down. Each piece he creates is unique, one of a kind. Prezen frequently creates moments in nature, the great horned owl returning to the nest with lunch for her young. A 
Red Fox surveys the forest floor, looking for his next meal. For a change of pace, Prazen occasionally does a fish piece, or captures a moment in the aquatic world. His lionfish proved extremely popular with art connoisseurs. His metal coloring technique capturing the fish's natural color markings with startling realism. But Prazen's real forte and first love are the raptors, the eagles and hawks. The diversity of metals lends itself to another diverse line of subjects for Richard Prazen. His reindeer and other figures are prominent Christmas time displays, from private homes to lavish Las Vegas hotels. His imagination seems to have no limits. From small creatures to large, a bigger than life size stallion that adorns a business executive's ranch style home. If you can imagine it, Richard Prazen can make it. A tall spider that spits on kids coming to rest. A metal orangutan for a golf course mascot. Prazen has mastered molding metals into anything imaginable including lifelike figures. This Indian buffalo medicine man entitled Four Bears is made of welded steel, stainless steel, bronze, copper, and brass. The face was rusted intentionally for color, and the buckskin effect is achieved with flame-sprayed aluminum bronze powder. Whether imaginary or authentic, Prazen always employs meticulous detail. And his work is generally considered realistic. Still, he occasionally loves to dabble with Impressionism. A six-foot-tall metal monster made for fantasy con. And even the bizarre. This is a piece that I wanted to have some fun with. I think every kid dreams of dragons chasing him. And in this piece, I wanted to show the snake fangs and the grotesque features that I always dreamed of dragons having. This was a real fun piece to do. From fun pieces to highly prized commissions, Prazen enjoys them all. A special commissioned eagle for the United States Air Force Thunderbirds. Prazen City of Residence, South Jordan, Utah, requested a montage of historical icons, images in metal, celebrating South Jordan's history throughout the past 150 years. Richard Prazen's work has found its way into art collections around the world. It graces the entryway of large corporations, makes a unique statement in presidential suites, and adds charm, distinction, and elegance to a home. Few art forms command attention and invite inspection like these. Richard Prazen is one of a very few artists in the world doing avian sculptures in welded metal. His use of as many as eight different metals formed and colored with a welding torch makes his work truly unique.
But as you've seen, it doesn't stop there. He frequently receives requests for custom furniture and home fixtures, unique chandeliers, wall decor pieces, stairways, even bed frames. Seldom is there a request beyond his imagination and ability to make.